Hey metal community, welcome back to Surface Noise Vinyl. Um, today I just wanted to uh, show you some recent pickups. Uh, I attempted to shoot this video last night, but it went terribly. So, take two. Um, in the background, we're listening to this amazing classic, uh, Enslaved Vertebrae. Um, and this is a 29 reissue on By Norse Music. Uh, a nice gatefold with the lyrics and it's a double LP and yeah um, so glad to have this uh, found it used in my local record store um, but looks unplayed yeah awesome find very excited to find this um, I think this marks my 10th enslaved album now on vinyl, which is awesome. So I'm getting there. So that's the first one. Uh, next up is another classic, Down Nola. Um, never owned this in any format before, so I uh, finally decided I had to pick it up. I'm not a huge uh, Phil and Somno fan. I'm not a huge Pantera fan. Uh, but I do really like this album. Because how can you not? So, down. And I'm in a band who's been uh, jamming Bury Me in Smoke actually lately. And uh, that song's awesome. So, a lot of fun to play. Uh, next up is this band I just kind of stumbled across this it was in my local record store and it was cheap uh, and it's on prosthetic records this is horn Dal, I think is how you pronounce it and uh, the album is lake drinker and this came out last year and these guys I guess are like black and death it's a nice transparent orange um, I've only listened to this a couple of times so far, but it's good. I really like it. So, yeah. Nice to add this one. I know. Sleeving on camera. I'm probably going to do it a lot because it sucks having to sleeve 15 or 20 albums after the video's over. Uh, next up is King Diamond, uh, Puppet Master. This album came out in 2003, and I believe this is an original issue. Um, and I found this at another local record store, and it is not in the best of shape. Uh, it does skip once or twice, but... Um, I tried cleaning it and it didn't really help. So that kind of sucks, but I don't know. This record goes for a bit and I got it for at least half of what it usually goes for. So still worth it, I think, even if it has a few Im imperfections. It's still listenable. It's just every once in a while you got to get up and fix the skip. Okay, next up is a new one from uh, another store not far from me, not that local, but uh, still in my province. This is Blue Dust Nord's first album, Ultima Tuhule. Probably pronouncing that all wrong, but anyway, close enough. Uh, so this one is awesome silver on one side and bluey on the other side and uh, this is uh, it's interesting because you know you can still hear kind of some crazy uh, dissonant riffage and stuff that they are so well known for now but uh, it definitely ha is a lot raw and definitely has um, you know the beginning stages of what this band would become but yeah, uh, really cool, really awesome. Glad to 
stumble across this. Did not expect to find this just sitting there uh, waiting for me to buy it, it seemed. <laughs> Gotta love it when that happens. This happened a few times actually recently. Uh, this one I got from a local distro. Um, uh, this is Ulfa with uh, the Inextricable Wandering. Yes, and uh, this is on Century Media. This album's from 2018. They do have a newer album this year. Um, I haven't picked that one up yet, but this is great. Uh, atmospheric black metal uh, from Germany, I believe. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend these guys. Uh, Mike Hill from Tombs and Everything Went Bat Black podcast uh, often has uh, one of the guys from this band don't think he's a singer, maybe the guitar player. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, he often goes on the podcast and, and chats with them about all things metal and movies. They talk a lot about horror movies and stuff too. Um, anyway, yeah, Alpha. Highly recommend uh, these guys if you uh, if you dig, uh, you know, atmospheric black metal. Um, I'm not sure who I would just kind of compare them to because um, they're not they're not like Agalock they're kind of more um, more intense more kind of crazy blast beady parts um, maybe Wolves in the Throne Room or Uada but like in that vein but still a little bit different um, but yeah highly recommend it really great stuff Uh, another early classic. Classic. This is uh, Necrophobic with the Nocturnal Silence. Uh, their debut album from '93. This is uh, Century Media's reissue from this year. Um, this album sounds great. I mean, yeah, it's it's raw, but you can definitely hear the melody coming through. Um, Century Media did an awesome job, as always. It's uh, you know thick. 180 gram final. Um, there's also a really sweet poster in here. Every time I take it out, I can't get it back in again, but um, whatever. So you've got a you know, big picture of the band on that side. And uh, then there's just the, the cover on the other side. Pretty sweet poster. Nice bonus. Oh, it went back in this time. Nice. So that was another new find. Um, I, uh, at the store that I frequent the most. Next up is a couple of a uh, couple more used ones. Used to me. I mean, this is well, it's used, but it's a new album. <laughs> Venom Prison's latest from earlier this year. Um, people have probably are all familiar with this. This is a great album. Really, really like it. It's just on uh, black vinyl. There. Um, yeah, great album. Awesome used find. Pretty excited to have this. This was one I was probably going to pick up anyway. So at some point, so to find it for you know almost half of what I would buy for it new is awesome uh, next up as I said another used one cattle decapitations newest and I know uh, you're all familiar with this on metal blade uh, this is from 2019 this one is on this really neat another orangey splatter with some black and red in there as well yeah really cool bring on the plague yeah I don't need to say anything about this I'm sure you're all familiar with it but uh, really cool stuff I really like these guys Man, the riffs on this album are so good. 
Awesome stuff. I told you I was going to sleeve everything. Ah, oh, maybe not that one. I can't. That one's really hard because it's so fat. Okay, next up is Yoth Aria, I think is how you pronounce this, this band. Um, As the Flame Withers. These guys are on Pagan Records. Um, and I believe they're, they're European. I'm not sure if they're German or... French or wherever they're from, but um, really cool, catchy, awesome gay fold too. Really cool, catchy um, black metal. Um, just black with uh, a cool label though. Um, yeah, it's really catchy black metal. Maybe like Mugwa. Um, yeah. Cool stuff. I like these guys a lot. Um, and it's called As the Flame Withers. So, next up, another new one. One uh, most of you will be familiar with, of course. It's Mushiga with uh, Immutable, their new one. Uh, this is a great record, too. Uh, man, it's been a really solid year for metal this year. I feel like it's been like that for the last few years, but it's true. It's another really solid one. This one's hard to, uh, to get the records out, so uh, it's just black vinyl. I won't bother. Um, and there's a cool poster as well, but the poster just is basically the cover, so that's cool, but don't need to show that. Uh, another uh, few more used ones here. I think actually they're all. Yeah, just uh, three or four more, and they're all used. I think so. Next up is Bolzer with Aura, and this is uh, on Iron Bonehead. Um, from 2013, I believe, and this is uh, just an EP. Um, Pretty much just straight ahead black metal, black vinyl. Really cool stuff though, I like these guys a lot. And I would recommend them if you are not familiar. <clears throat> okay, switch it up from the extreme metal now. Um, this is ASG's, I believe this is their latest album, called uh, Survive Sunrise. Sorry, Naked Ladies on the cover. That's just a cartoon, though. Um, it's a double album, Gatefold. If you're not familiar with these guys, they're kind of like a stoner rock thing going on. Um, yeah, really good. Just really catchy, um, singy, shouty vocals with the odd scream here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, on Relapse, uh, quite heavyweight vinyl. Really, really cool. I recommend these guys if you like Stoner Rock at all. Um, uh, one more, two more. One more used one and one new one. So, uh, Helicopter's latest familiar this year, Eyes of Oblivion. Um, this is also an amazing album. Um, and I guess uh, really not the only uh, non-metal album in this stack, but um, these guys are basically just like balls out rock and roll. It's really, really great stuff. If you're not familiar, check them out because uh, they really do rock. Um, and uh, it's Nicky Anderson, uh, who was the drummer from Entombed and uh, also drums in Lucifer. Um, he sings and plays guitar in this band. and. Uh, there he is right there. Yeah. Awesome. Highly recommended. Check it out. Okay, last one for tonight. Uh, this is Conjurer with Pathos. And uh, this is also from this year, I believe. Um, I wasn't really familiar with these guys. I just happened to come across this in my record store and thought, yeah, I'll take a chance on it. I had some credit, so. Um, 
This is also silver vinyl. And yeah, these guys are like doomy. Um, with like maybe some hardcore sludge, you know, tendencies as well. Um, but yeah, cool record. I need to spend a little more time with it, but yeah, very cool. Cool cover too. This is like in a glossy middle. The rest of it's all matte, and then the middle part, the mess on his face is glossy, so that's pretty neat. It's a nice touch. Yeah, flew through those, but uh, yeah, there it is. That's what I got, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.